Hey Zane, uh, making this video to show you the timing marks on the 90s and 110s. Uh, the marks on your flywheel are, you have your firing mark here and your timing mark here. The timing mark is in, is X amount of degrees behind the fire mark. What you, and then the mark on the stator is here. Are you looking at it? It's right there. That little coil. It's right there. So, what you do is you take, you line up this mark here with this, which is it isn't going to stay there for me. But you like that. And then real quick, I'm going to show you for the fire mark. You take and you line this here up, and that's wherever you want it to be lined up here for the points to close. All right. Now this little cam, it has a little pin on the on the uh, cam shaft. This little lobe here has a notch in it and it sits on that pin. And whenever, like I said, whenever that there's there, that's whenever you want the points to close. Also, you want to take and line up this notch here with this little piece here. Normally it's like right in the middle, but since I have some port work done to this head and all, this one's advanced. You know, I don't know how many degrees, but it's advanced, you know. But, and now, let's see. Now, with the cam, See, I don't have the bolts in there because I'm showing you, but uh, the cam should just slide right in and slide right out. Let's see, pull this on out. Oh, let's see, gotta take and make sure they don't roll back. All right, uh, here on the cam sprocket, all right, there's that circle, and then there on the head, right there is a notch it's in the front of the head what you do is you line up that circle and that notch and that's where you put it with this with the T right there with that the T goes on that line wherever that circle and notch are lined up and this motor here the timing chain is stretched so that's why it's off but that's how you set the timing on the 90 and 110s alright now I hope this helps you out and uh, let me know so, later, man.